Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Allie Chimiklis, and I'm filling in for Mike Blake today on Midday with Mike. Off the top of today's show, we're going to talk about how hot the housing market is and how homeowners are asking one very important question, and that is just how much is my home worth? How much is it valued at? So to do that, we're talking to the one and only Carol McClintock of FC Tucker MD Realtors. Carol, thank you so much for joining us today. I am thrilled to be here, and I love talking about a hot real estate market. Absolutely. So, you know, the values of homes, they have risen. We've seen it and people are asking, how much is my home worth? So I would imagine that you're getting that a lot. We certainly are. And, you know, we're going to try to put it in a little bit of context today. So um, people that purchased their home in 2015, so you can figure something around this. Um, if they went to sell their home today, uh, we anticipate that they could, you know, depending upon the condition of the home, how they've taken care of it, if they've continued to update, could get them as much as 36% more than when they purchased in 2015. Wow, that, that's no small percentage. Have we seen this before in any, in any period that you know of? You know, I've been selling real estate now for almost 24 years in uh, the tri-state area, and I have never seen anything like this. And, and I haven't talked to anyone that's been in the business even longer that remembers this kind of uptick in prices. Wow, that's that's absolutely crazy. And in turn, with the, the home price being risen or have raised, I would imagine that it's kind of affected your day-to-day -day job and what that means for buyers and sellers. So how does that actually work? What does that mean for them that the values have gone up? Well, um, obviously it's creating some angst for uh, buyers. You know, sellers really, it really is a seller's market. So they're in, you know, the top position and can try to control the situation somewhat. So we are seeing um, since in this year, in 2021, uh, homes have with three bedrooms um, have sold for 103% on average more than the list price. So it's over the list price. And you're gonna see some going way over, you're gonna see some coming in at list, and you're gonna see some honestly coming in at not list price. Because some people have been a little aggressive, so they're not gonna sell their house for what, what they expect or what they listed at. Um, but for buyers, this creates a situation, a very competitive situation. And so they need to be really prepared uh, with their pre-approval letter and it needs to be, have the address of the home they're trying to buy and the amount that they are uh, have a loan for. And they need to have all their ducks in a row and they need to be prepared to offer their final and best offer the first time not thinking, okay, I'm gonna offer this and then I'm gonna see if they come back with a counter offer. Because uh, we are getting um, offers, like 15 to 20 offers on one house within the first 24 hours. Wow, so definitely give your best offer. And just the, the thought of this is, it's a lot of fun, buying a house is fun. So I would imagine for you right now, it's kind of an interesting time. Yeah, so we really have to stay on. Um, houses coming to market. Um, a realtor that has a good relationship with a lot of other agents and can talk with them about what's coming up is really an advantage. Um, so we really try to stay, watch several times a day the, uh, the hot mail website so that we can see immediately what's on that hot sheet and what's getting listed so we can get that information out as quickly as possible to our clients. Carol, thank you so much for joining us today. All right, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have more of the show coming up right after this message.